Well, we are back now, 843 with a Today exclusive. This morning, a groundbreaking surgery bringing hope to patients diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. NBC senior national correspondent Kate Snow is here with that story. Hi, Kate. Okay. Hi, guys. Good morning to you. So lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in the U.S. by far. And for so long, you know, there's been so little that doctors could do once someone reached stage four. But this morning, for the first time, two patients are speaking out about the life-saving surgery they had at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago. Both were non-smokers, shocked to get that cancer diagnosis. Diagnosis. Both were once told that they didn't have long to live. And then they both had this new surgery to remove their cancer filled lungs, and we were there when they met. Oh. A week ago, Al Khoury and Tana Zameli met for the very first time. Strangers, now linked by an unbreakable bond. Thankfully, we are cancer free, right? Thank God, we yeah. did it. We did it, huh? <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Here today, thanks to a new technique for performing double lung transplants, pioneered by doctors at Northwestern Medicine. You're the only two people in America who've had this double lung transplant successfully. Al is a pretty tough guy, a cement worker for the city of Chicago, used to go to the gym three hours a day. But in 2020, he got the lung cancer diagnosis. I said, no problem. I'm going to beat it. Don't worry about it. Helped by his nephew, Joseph, he tried all kinds of treatment that didn't work. Then Al's sister saw a story online about a Northwestern doctor performing double lung transplants, not for cancer, but for COVID. She said, why don't you go there and see what they can do for you. Eventually, Al ended up in the ICU at Northwestern. Doctors saying he had just days to live. He begged his oncologist to help him get that surgery. Can I talk to the surgeon? Just let me talk to him. He did a double lung transplant. Just give me a minute. By chance, that oncologist ran into surgeon Dr. Ankit Bharat in the cafeteria. I immediately felt optimistic and frankly uh, a little bit excited that we could be in a position to help Al. Al got his new lungs in September 2021. You woke up in that room. Your whole family's around. What were your feelings in that moment? I feel good. I, I cry so much. I cry after that. I never cried before. I said, well, why did this thing happen to me? Like, what's so special about me? Double lung transplants aren't new, but the way Dr. Barat and his team are doing them is revolutionary. Traditionally, lungs are removed and replaced one at a time, but that's a problem for cancer patients. When you take the first lung out and put a new lung in, the other lung still has cancer, so you can cross-contaminate. So that cancer could go into mm -hmm. the new lung. Yeah. To avoid that, Dr. Barat puts patients on full heart-lung bypass, keeping them alive while carefully removing both lungs at once. He then washes the airways to remove any remaining cancer cells before two new lungs are transplanted in. To qualify, patients must have already tried all other treatments, have lung cancer entirely confined to their lungs, and meet other transplant health requirements. You're looking at an x-ray of new lungs transplanted in a first-of-its-kind procedure here at Northwestern. When Al's story made headlines last spring, Tanaz's husband saw it. One of our friends sent my husband a video clip of the news that Albert was in. Like Al, Tanaz also had stage 4 lung cancer that wasn't responding to treatment. Did the doctors tell you if there was a chance of survival? No. They said that they, there is no chance. Running out of options and time, she and her husband contacted Dr. Barat. He told us that after reviewing your file, I think we can make you cancer free. In July 2022, she got her new lungs. All right. Both she and Al have no signs of cancer. If it wasn't because of Albert, I was not here today. This man saved my life. Patient one and patient two speaking out, hoping to reach other lung cancer patients. I hope that we can, we can both be in, encouragement for other people to look into other options that they have. If I need to save somebody's life, I'll do it, no problem. You'll do anything to spread the word? Yeah, if I'm gonna help other people, I'm gonna do it. No problem.
<laughs> oh my gosh. Tana has, I know. Mm, oh my crazy. gosh. Tana and Al are basically both back to normal life. Yeah. The day that we spoke with Al, he'll be glad to know he was back on the elliptical. Back at uh, the gym. Stairmaster, Aww. back at the gym. Tana <laughs> and her husband, they have kids, they have grandkids. They're able to visit with them at a distance because she still has kind of a weakened immune system, so they have to be careful. And as for making this more widely available, you guys, they're really hoping, they're evaluating additional cancer patients as we speak to be the next. And they're also going to track. 75 patients over the next five years to really see how yeah. they do. It's, it's incredible. incredible. Oh, yes. I mean, yes. he had to insist upon it. Can you please try? Yeah. Then the guy in, then the, he, cafeteria. Then in the cafeteria. I mean, then he no saw accidents. the one story. Then she saw so, his story. Right. Someone's, someone's seeing, seeing this story. story. That's right. Someone's seeing this story. And by the way, this all kind of happened because of COVID, yeah. right? Because he was doing double lung transplants, the doctor, on COVID, COVID patients. patients. Wow. And they learned from that how to do it. For cancer. Where does wow. lung Silver stack lining. up in the organ pecking order as far as availability? You know, I don't know exactly, but I know that there there are lungs available, but they have to wait. Like both mm -hmm. Tanaz and Al had to wait mm -hmm. weeks to get, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it's also a message about donors, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Like sign up if yep. you can, yeah. because you can save a life. Yeah. Oh, it's a great story. Great Kit. story. Thank All you. Right. Probably hey, just saved your life you. right there. I hope so. We are back in a moment, but first, this is today on NBC. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.